Hey guys, it's me, Shorty Sensei. It has been a minute since I've uploaded, but we're here because I have been targeted. Unfairly targeted, if I do say so myself. Okay, no, completely fair. As a female enjoyer of anime and video games, I of course have a running list of husbandos. I hear them, if you will. I enjoy a good looking, 2D character. And I think the internet found out. <laughs> the algorithm knows. I don't know how they know. But I have been targeted with this ad for this game called Love and Deep Space. Let me give you some background here. I tried to play, I think, two Otome games. So if you don't know what an Otome game is, they all work pretty similarly but they're pretty much like Japanese dating games or Asian culture dating games. And like I tried to play some and it was just like difficult. It was hard to keep up with. And like I would say the wrong thing and then not get the guy that I wanted. I didn't find joy in it. I thought it was gonna be hilarious and like super fun and addicting. And I really did not find them super fun. So I have been targeted by Love and Deep Space constantly for the past few months like before the game even came out i was being targeted and this one looks like really high quality like they i feel like this is supposed to be the mecca of like otome or dating simulator type games it, it's 3d instead of just like 2d little anime pictures and it's very like steamy from some of the ads i've gotten we're gonna try it out today, but this is a mobile game, so I'm gonna be playing it on my iPad. If you notice that I'm like looking down, I am looking down. I am like trying to prop this thing up as much as I can to where I can like see better. Let's go, let's do it. Let's start. It's me. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. We can select a style for our face. You can share your face and data with others. Scan the QR code to upload face data. Okay, so we're just gonna make one. Okay, are we done? We have a voice. Get out. Oh my gosh. It's just a minor setback. Just a minor setback. Being cautious is always a smart move. Okay, cool. Don't care. Yes, we're just gonna start. I have guns? What is happening? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. I'm in outer space with guns. Hello, Lincoln City. DPSCFM here to greet you on this early morning. Did you sleep well last night? Weather's nice today with winds at 5 kilometers per hour. Certain areas have a higher Metaflux index due to the deep space tunnel. Expect more mm. more often. Hello. We would like to thank all the hunters in the city for allowing us to live a normal, peaceful life. Next, a detailed report for each district. Areas that are at high risk of being attacked by wanderers. All medical personnel... Get ready. Today is he medical? Is another busy day. Is he a doctor? Mr. Dark Hair? I'll have a message for all the new hunters who recently passed their exams. An artist. Now that your journey is about to begin, other Mr. We want Dark Hair. Express our deepest gratitude and wish you all the best as you face the challenges ahead. Mm. Ah. And that's all for today. But before we go, please enjoy this gift we received from Deep Space 14 years ago. Love and Deep Space. These electromagnetic signals have traversed time and space, a miracle of the ages. One day we will be able to evolve from our current limitations. New recruit registration the center. Of life and reach the stars. So we live in outer space. At a certain moment in the future, we can pass through the Deep Space Tunnel and discover the future awaiting us. Time travel? Okay. years ago, the deep space tunnel appeared above Lincoln. It led to anomalous geomagnetic storms and the creatures known as wanderers emerged. From such an event, the deep space hunter was born. 
Now society has returned to a sense of normalcy, but there are still wanderers lurking in the shadows. Here today with us are many we'll be assigned to a squad. I want her hair. As well as Aren't you nervous? Oh. That but won't change the outcome. Only about results. It's better to the stay calm. The end justifies the means. Our goal as hunters is to extract the protocors from wanderers in hopes of destroying them once and for all. That being said, congratulations on passing the selection process. We are grateful for your hard work. We will now begin the ceremony and hand out badges to the new deep Okay, space we're a deep space hunter. hunter. First candidate. That's you, isn't it? Hurry, get on stage! Okay. Hello, sir. Hmm. Place your hand here to confirm your personal info. We are shorty. It's been a while since I've seen this evolve. You have a lot of potential for growth and might even acquire new abilities. Hmm. I can see why Jenna picked you as soon as the rookie list was released to the public. It can't be detected? As usual. Sir, that's likely because a wanderer attacked me 14 years ago. And ever since then, my evil level hasn't been stable. Understood. Mm. That event did change many lives forever. You're not the first evolver whose level couldn't be detected. This isn't the only criteria we use when evaluating a deep space hunter. As long as you have the skills, this industry welcomes you with open arms. Congratulations, you are now a deep space hunter. Thank you, sir. Okay. The fluctuations are stronger. I'm closer to the source. Oh, we're so getting into something. Than the detector. Hi, I'm Tara. Remember me? I was standing next to you during the badge ceremony. Of course. We're lucky to be on the same squad. Oh, do you want to work together? Sure. The tarot reading I did yesterday told me that I would be super lucky today. <gasps> Look. Wanderers. They're here. Oh, shoot. Accept the mission? Absolutely. The highest threat level here is only B, which matches the fluctuation we just felt. A fluctuation doesn't have a set value. Something's off. Why don't we split up and look around first, just to be safe? Sure. I'll go inside, Ben. I'll scout the perimeter to see how far these fluctuations go. We'll regroup here once we're done. Okay. Be you careful. Too. There's clearly been a Metaflux explosion, but it doesn't match the Wanderer's threat level. Something's not right. What? Oh, shoot. A hunter? Are they also here for the mission? So we're not the same type of hunter? He looks like he's just taking a nap, to be honest. There are traces of Metaflux on him as if he was attacked. Probably was. Hey. I should call for backup. Well, I can't say no. Hunters Association Support Center. Is there anything I can do? <gasps> Quiet. <gasps> Are you all right? I'm fine. But you. Fluctuations. Watch out. Whoa. Let's defeat it together. Ooh. That was rough. What just happened? Did you see that? My screen actually stopped working. So are we going to work together? Landscape mode will be enabled when you're in battle. Are you kidding me? So this game's gonna go from vertical to horizontal and ruin all the setup I just did. Okay, well, let me prepare for a second. Okay, something like this should be showing you the whole screen. Now we're horizontal. 
Hunters will get into combat after entering a wanderer's proto field. Be aware of the lurking dangers. Once any of you is unable to fight, retreat first to avoid casualties. Okay, this makes streaming this game really hard all of a sudden because now we're tilted at a different angle. Bro, we get to actually we're like fight together? It's like we're in another world. They must be hiding from us. Okay. Tap the button to unleash an attack. I was not expecting this to have combat. Watch out. Mm. Try the dodge button. Oh, yeah. He's like badass. Dodge, hunty. You can use the resonance you want. Yeah. Can't go on too much more. Let's deliver the final blow together. Ooh. Ooh. We're safe for now. That was fancy. For now? Alright, so what's this dude's name? Level three, we skipped level two. That's what's up, stamina. Okay, so we got some like jewels and experience. We're going back to vertical. I might just leave it like this. He can use the light evil and he's strong. I haven't seen anyone like him among the rookies. Did. That protocore could have given us useful info. Why did you crush it? Huh? Ugh, forget it. There's more to this than meets the eye. I need to investigate. That's right. Were you also assigned here? This place is more dangerous than it seems. We should get out of here and think about our next move. No, we can't. We became prey stuck in a trap the moment we walked into this warehouse. Come. You... You don't just grab my hand like here. that. Did anything unusual happen before the explosion? I was sleeping at the time. Seriously? In this place? There's nothing complicated going on. Just a trick of the light. Wanderers and light. Nothing. They're luminivores. No movement, no fluctuations. Over here. Luminivores eat light, and your evil is... This can't be a coincidence. Is this a trap specifically for you? I'm just a normal hunter. You don't need to look too deeply into it. Hmm, that's it the furthest thing from the truth. But from another perspective, isn't he just bait? What are you thinking about? If we can't escape, let's lure the Luminivores out and take them down in one fell swoop. You... Use your evil. Use your evil. Is it like a skill? The point of convergence is getting stronger. Looks like they took the bait. There are a lot of luminivores. If we don't take them out in one go, they'll respawn using the light. In that case, we'll just use my evil. Please mm. forgive me. What is this? defeated all of them. 
This is the first time I've experienced an evil resonance this strong. Hmm. The fluctuations are gone, and so are the wanderers. Your plan actually worked. Yeah, but not even a single protocol was left behind. Ah, uh, they were hmm. accidentally blown up. The residual energy should be enough, right? So we're acquaintances now? I'm a new unicorn's recruit. And you? I'm Xavier. By the way, could Just you do Xavier. me a favor? If anyone asks what happened, tell them that... Aside from the Wanderers, you saw nothing else, alright? Don't you think that makes you seem a little suspicious? True. I'm sorry. I'll explain why the next time we meet. I'm heading over to your location right now. I'm fine. Over here! That's my colleague. Where did he go? I lost your signal and couldn't contact you. Wow, she all. didn't even see him. Protocol fragments. You took wow. down those wanderers by yourself? No. Actually, I... It's I had help. hard to explain, and I can't do it now. Well, what matters is that you're okay. We'll talk more once the mission's over, alright? <laughs> Savior. How mysterious. Him being here surely couldn't have been. I like how it's fully voice acted. That's pretty cool. Hey, new companion unlocked. Cool. Okay, here comes the Otome part of this, like the actual gameplay. Here we go. We gotta learn everything. We're headed to a cafe. Mission complete. On the way back to HQ, I passed by Destiny Cafe on the corner of the street. It said that one may have special encounters here. Audio. Oh, I'm calling him out. You seem to know an awful lot. All right. I'll keep our meeting a secret for now, but you better keep your end of the bargain. I have to run some errands. Talk to you later. Ooh, the wish feature. Oh, we can pull characters and cards. So we've got some gotcha in the mix. By making wishes to deep space, you can acquire memories of him. Oh, God. So we make wishes <laughs> to unlock like a cutscene. <laughs> oh, what is this? Xavier, Garden of Secrets. We got a four star memory do we get to watch it was that our yeah that was our only wish why is he wearing bunny ears Ooh, mr dark hair with the glasses Ooh. Okay. Whoa, who is that? Okay, so we do have a, a main three. Xavier or Xavier, Zane and Raphael. They're also they're also not Asian. You know what I mean? Oh, Raphael's coming soon. wild this is wild tap here to view your memories <laughs> you can view your memories here Equ equip a memory during battle to enhance combat effectiveness different memories possess different attributes so is this like a weapon upgrading and ranking up can enhance the attributes of your memories okay but we need stuff Use memory EXP materials to upgrade your memories and enhance attributes. Click here to upgrade. Well, I can't, right? Oh, you can use any combination of these to upgrade. Rank ups will significantly improve your memory's attributes. Rank ups require the corresponding memory shards. So we need 30 of them and we don't have them. So, cool. 
All right, let's get out of that menu. We're good to go. What is the gift thing? Oh, uh, we get stuff for upgrading. Yeah, there's no more. Okay. Okay, so we did that. We got some stuff for it. Seven days art cruise. Okay, so this is a seven day event where we can get some awards. What next? The shop. A day of snow. Okay, so this is what you can buy. How much money are you allowed to spend on this game? $30. So it looks like the most expensive thing you can buy is like 30 bucks. I mean, I guess if you were obsessed with the... Oh no, there's a 55. Okay. Okay, okay. So I have 220 of the little red ruby things. And with that, I could get a wish. An Empyrean wish or a Deep Space wish. And then with the bluish purple gems, you can do other stuff, but that's unnecessary. So you can spend up to $100 on those. Crazy. And then they give discounts with this currency, but I really don't know <laughs> what you would need any of this for. Are we going to get a room? Okay. And we get stuff for completing like daily events. Ooh, I can claim rewards. Let's go. Oh, a free pack. I get a free pack of stuff. Can we wish again? All right, we're going to go to the story. This is where we are. Is number six. Okay, let's do it. The cleanup at the abandoned research base wrapped up nicely. The other hunters, Terra, and I returned to unicorns. As expected, no threat levels higher than A rank were detected in the area affected by the Metaflux explosion. When we cleared out the remaining wanderers, we didn't encounter any more danger. By the way, did we get anything from the data we sent back to HQ? They said data analysis would conduct another investigation. We have to wait for the results before assuming it's anything. It's kind of scary now that I'm thinking about it. I'm glad you're okay. You should do a reading for me. Maybe my luck's also pretty good you're today. still in the mood to crack jokes? I had been trying to contact you for a while. And I was just about to try every method possible, both scientific and mystical. The bright screen on the wall suddenly dims. Captain Jenna emerges from a hidden door. Finally, we meet face to face, Unicorns recruits. Everyone falls silent under her commanding gaze. I am gaze. relieved to see that everyone has returned in one piece. Your performance was recorded and uploaded to our database by the hunter's watch each one of you is wearing. Unicorns only chooses the best of the best. The squad will take that into consideration and assign you to the appropriate sector. In the foreseeable future, the difficulty of your assignments, nature of your work, and scope of your missions will correspond to your sector's role and responsibilities. The uncertainty and fear we need to be prepared to face is far greater than what we've seen today. This means we will need to have an open mind, remain flexible, and have trustworthy allies. As for okay. today's mission, I have to say that it was executed very well. Thank you. With those words, Jenna smiles briefly, looks around, and then slips behind the hidden door. The room's lights turn on and are followed by beeps from a hunter's watches. One after another, everyone erupts into a frenzy. Mission data analyzed. Please report to your respective sector at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Sector. Data analysis. Captain Andrew. Wow. Data analysis. Yesterday's fortune was bright. Well... What does yours say? I look at my own watch under the unicorn section. It says... 
Sector Alpha Team Captain Jenna. So we're not gonna be together, me and my friend. We're working directly under Jenna. Wow. Can I visit you in the future whenever <laughs> I want? Tara, that's her name. My friend with the cute short hair is Tara. Are you sure you're not using that as an excuse to gawk at Captain I Jenna? Two eyes. I can look at you and her at the same time, right? <laughs> Oh, you. Well, that's it for today. Want to grab a bite to eat? Yes, bestie, let's go. Long day of work, let's get some food. We walk out of the Hunters Association. Not too far away in the heart of Lincoln is Azure Square. Many drones equipped with 360 degree eyes, infrared sensors designed to monitor wander activity, patrol the sky. Today's link on is nothing like the one that was attacked 14 years ago. After Tara and I grab a quick snack, we decide to walk around the square, relaxing our minds after a busy day. So, you admire Captain Jenna because she saved you, is that right? We stroll past the trees lining the path before sitting down on a bench near the square's monument. Her eyes light up as she excitedly shares her past from over a decade ago. And just like that, the wanderer was gone! Oof! disappeared into thin air. After escorting me to a safe place by the road, she said, you're safe now, go home. <laughs> That's what we call max level of security. Tara seems completely engrossed in her tail, then she turns to look at me suddenly serious. So yes, as you can see, I became a hunter to follow in Captain Jenna's footsteps. I want to be as badass as she is, to be her equal and fight alongside her. Understandable. One day you'll be able to achieve your oh, dream. I've just been rambling on. What about you? Why did you become a hunter? Me? Well, under the clear sky, Azure Square is lively. I look away as far as my eyes can see. The horizon is painted by the gold of the setting sun. How romantic. I still remember that from 14 years ago. It was also a lively evening. The roars of wanderers like a flood drowned out the screams and cries for help. I sprint through the street, covered in rubble, not even knowing what monster is chasing me, until a sharp pain pierces me and burrows itself into my heart. A makeshift shelter made of the remains of collapsed buildings is within sight. Trembling, I muster all the strength I have and crawl towards it. Amidst the dirt and gloom, a small seedling breaks through the soil. If I survive this, I don't want to be anyone's prey. I don't want to only run when there's danger. Looks like you're reminiscing about something from a long time ago. You are correct. That's amazing. You can tell fortunes and read other people's expressions. Oh, is that her, like, skill? Yeah, I can see you're anxious, but also full of anticipation. True. It's a very important symbol for Lincoln City. Mr. Guidey welcomes you to Azure Square. That voice sounded a lot like Mona from Persona 5. Here, the past and future coexist. The old and new mingle together seamlessly. This is the charm of Lincoln, the city of innovation. Wow! Doesn't it sound like it, Mr. Guidey? <sighs> it's so noisy, mm. like a kid who's constantly shouting. Let's call it here. We have to get up early for work tomorrow. We should go home and get some rest. Right. After all, we've experienced a real battle. Getting a good night's sleep is important. I live pretty far from here, so I should be heading home soon. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. <clears throat> After Tara leaves, I also get up. I'm ready to go home. Noticing a figure that's been hiding behind the bushes, I can't help but sigh. Hey kid, can I help you or anything? But I'll just get going if you don't need me. The bushes rustle slightly, then quickly stop moving. I'm only able to take a few steps before I feel a tug on my so, coat. miss, I overheard your conversation. Are you a hunter on a mission? Aww. I'm a hunter on standby. Everyone says hunters are super strong and you can do anything I ask, right? Right? Mm, not anything, buddy. 
Brimming with confidence, he pulls out a stack of shiny gold cards from his pocket. Here's what I'll give you as a reward. A full set of Super Hunter AR cards. And it has a limited edition Hunter Lux. <laughs> Follow me! Hold on. At least tell me what you... <laughs> He's gonna give me cards? Do I get free wishes? Is that what that is? We're almost there. I need you to help me catch that little red fishy. <laughs> Sure thing, but I can't promise I'll succeed. Is that okay with you? Lucas! Oh no, Can't she spotted us! Contact. Take this net, and don't say anything about me hiring you. He ran away already. Unfortunate. This species of fish can only survive for a week on land. A tourist? Interesting. The fish is gonna slip away, you know. Ta-da! The owner probably just wanted to throw in some fish to fit the theme. But this one, bright as a flame, is a real flamula from Lemurian legends. Flamula? I'm not very familiar with those myths or folklore. Oh, Hat Island is closed off because there have been reports of wanderers. You should stay away from that place for now. <sighs> that explains why I couldn't get a boat ticket. It's good that you were here to let me know. Hmm. Otherwise, I really would have wasted my time. Oh, wait. Here's the fish you caught. I hope it'll survive longer with you. <sighs> if you like the sea, you should go to White Sand Bay. It's the most beautiful beach in all of... But he didn't even let me finish. Wow, how rude. <gasps> Darn it. Okay, way to just leave the kid. Hey, Yvonne, it's me, just coming out of the elevator. Dr. Zane hasn't gone home, has he? Don't worry, all checkups are in the system, which sends out notifications. Dr. Zane can't forget them. Yeah, besides, even when he's not working, he's still in his office. I met Zane after Grandma took me in. I was eight years old then. Our families have been friends for years, so we'd occasionally get together for meals. We didn't meet again until until half a year ago during a follow-up checkup on the protocore fragments in my heart. I would have never guessed that after not seeing him for more than a decade, he'd reappear as my primary care physician. You've known so Dr. we've got Zane a hot while, doctor? Right? I'll transfer your call over so you two can get started. No, don't. Hospital hospital for a brighter future. Good job. You were 10 seconds away from being a no-show. <sighs> I fought everyone to book the last appointment of the day. Wait. Have five seconds left. Do you really need to be precise? Three, two. Arriving at the office door, I push it open. Congratulations, you weren't late. Is this impeccable timing a new evil ability of yours? I can't believe you're just sitting there and counting down. What are you, t a ticking time bomb or something? Yvonne said you returned to Lincoln at five o'clock this morning and we're back to work by seven. She tells you everything. You said it was a vacation, but you were actually in the Arctic to work on a secret project, right? Patients shouldn't be so nosy. Report. Mm. Any changes recently? No. No? That didn't sound convincing. I've had one exam after another, so I pulled a few all-nighters. <laughs> Ignoring medical advice like it's nothing. I suppose you're just here to go through the motions. Sit over here, please. Huh? Listening. Right. Oh, up have to slide? Okay. This isn't the first day I had protocore fragments in my heart. Even Dr. Dean said I was perfectly fine. And it's been 14 years. If anything bad... Don't talk. But you should still breathe. Uh, <sighs> Zane looks so serious. Did he notice something was off? 
Nah, he just normally looks aloof. He probably has the same expression on his face regardless of whom he's treating. A fast resting heart rate. What riled you up this time? You're just imagining things. Fine. I was really nervous, okay? But I'm always like this whenever I see a doctor. Same, girl, same. Truly, your allergy is unique. So? Heart arrhythmia, premature ventricular contractions, heart murmurs. R really? That doesn't sound good. Despite being aware of the risks, you still became a hunter. Make fun of me all you want, but you know why I did it. I wasn't mocking you. Lincoln has been the safest it's ever been under the watchful eye of our skilled hunter. Not necessarily. One day, our skilled Dr. Zane will find himself in a bit of a predicament. The hunter who saves you might just be me. If you wish to hold something over me, then I suggest you be careful while out in the field. I prefer not to see you be airlifted to the hospital via helicopter. So he cares a little bit. Mr. Mystery. I have to run some errands. Talk to you later. Oh, I thought we had something new from him. Nope. Okay. There's been an increase in patients attacked by wanderers as of late. There's also a rising number of individuals with protocore fragments in their hearts. Don't get complacent. You should be aware of your medical condition. You should know too as my primary care physician. I'm fine, really. I have a lot of energy. Usually patients experience the after after effects after being attacked. You may feel fine now, but there still might be problems later down the line. You're a good doctor. But many of the patients you treated all recovered, right? You're a good doctor, Dr. Zane. It's difficult to say if your optimism is a strength or a weakness. I promise to follow doctor's orders. I won't be stubborn and I'll avoid taking unnecessary risks. All right, let's start with regular checkups then. Whoa, what is this? This is my desk where I keep every memory of my time with him. Here's your affinity with him. Stay with him to increase affinity. Memo can help you know how to increase affinity. Do you have like different desk setups for each person? That's kind of crazy. We're gonna do another one, I guess. Finally, this busy day can come to an end. Ooh, look at my room. I plop onto my bed and pull out my hunter's watch and my inbox is a team recruitment notice that's signed by Jenna. I actually became a hunter. Unicorns and its alpha team. I wonder what the veteran hunters are like. Outside my window, under the night, the trees sway, their branches rustling to the beat of the wind. Thunder rumbles in the distance. That's kind of what's happening in my real life right now. It's thundering. Is it about to rain? The weather forecast didn't mention anything about a storm. Suddenly the phone rings. Who is Caleb? I knew you'd still be awake. What are you up to? Ooh, he's an awful voice. Just got home. I'm beat. Your first day of hunting. Well? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. I didn't bring disgrace to my family. Well, that's good. What matters is. Is it that a brother? Do we have like a sibling? That would be so cute if we had a little sibling. What about you? Why are you calling me now? Aren't you on a military flight operation? I should be cruising along, but things wrapped up quite nicely and ended early. Did you guys encounter any wanderers in the deep space tunnel? Was it dangerous? Are you actually worried about me? If something happens to you, we won't be able to see Grandma together at the end of the month. Yeah, it's gotta be a brother. Come on. I know how important it is to you. Even if I was in a wheelchair, you'd push me there. Aww. Say something good for once. Don't jinx yourself. All right. It's been peaceful. The field within the tunnel is as stable as it can be. Very few wanderers. Don't worry. Really? Every time you tell me not to worry... Everything else is top secret. My lips are sealed. Oh, it's my brother. I like to think of him as a little brother. Yeah, yeah. Everything's a secret with you people and Deep Space Aviation Administration. Yep. Mysterious and spooky. I'm so scared. Scary enough for the pipsqueak to put cilantro in your food. Okay, I'll stop. It's late. You should go to bed now. 
Sweet dreams. I had cilantro for lunch. Not just cilantro. That's weird. I ate it in a sandwich. <laughs> Ever since Grandma took Caleb and me in, she hasn't stopped worrying about us. I pick up my phone, set an alarm, then walk over to the window. She must be really happy that I joined the unicorns. As I draw the curtains in the darkness, something strange catches my attention. I look up and... Outside my window, separated by only glass, a giant eye turns. What is that? In the blink of an eye, the darkness swallows everything outside. I couldn't understand what I just saw. Raindrops? Okay, let's not auto because it's going so fast. The overwhelming darkness of the night envelops the nearby buildings. A storm rages on. Why is it going so fast? I'm a fast reader and I turned auto off. There's some bugs in this game for sure. New content has been unlocked. Okay, date. Photo studio. Doctor or Xavier? I'm, I'm interested in my doctor friend. Come and take photos at Twinkle. Snapshot, beep boop. I'm Snapshot, Snapshabot. I'm a cool robot that takes snapshots. Since this is our first time meeting, you're probably not familiar with my features. For each snapshot instance, you will take four pictures in a row. Let's select the shooting mode and background for your photos. So we can dress them up. Okay, but I do like him in the glasses. Wait, can I have different hair now? Oh my god! I can have short hair now? Yes, queen. Cute. That's almost my haircut. Look. She just has like a longer neck than me. Oh, that's adorable. Whoa, eternal desert. Okay, I can't use these, but they're so pretty. Still, I don't know that I'm ever going to use this like feature. Oh, I have to buy some of this stuff. Ooh, can put him in his doctor outfit. Oh my goodness. This is hilarious. He looks so wide and buff in that one. Whoa. I feel like some of this gives away some of the story. Oh wow, these are good like suit jacket combos. He'd be looking fresh. Academy uniform, adorable. Oh, you can keep the glasses on, sir. Ooh, I like that. That's cute. Wait. I want that one. Can you save it? Oh, I have to do it fast? This is interesting. It is just a little photo booth. Interesting. This is crazy. This also, it seems very like, I don't know, silly. Oh, I can make one of these my avatar. apply the avatar cool okay I think I've like saved everything I needed to do I get anything for doing this like do I, I mean it's like an okay feature but like what do I do if he's just here what a coincidence I was just passing by got attracted by the surroundings I mean, it's a very pretty place. Probably. We'll see each other here often. By increasing your affinity, you'll have more chances of seeing him here. Here you can interact with him more. 
To unlock more types of interactions with him, increase your affinity. Interaction rules. Touch, shake, gaze. To tap him, you tap. To tap, tap, you tap multiple times. Caress is swipe your finger and hold. Tap and hold different parts of the screen to see how he'll react. Shake your phone to see what he says. Increase your affinity level with him to unlock more interactions. Press and drag the blank area to see his gaze follow you. You can pinch to zoom and get closer to him to activate intimate mode. Ooh, what does that mean? When in intimate mode, a special interaction with him will trigger a different reaction. In intimate mode, you can access the breathe function. Tap and hold breathe and try breathing into your microphone. Why? What's the point? Tap the camera in the upper right hand corner to take a snapshot. After taking the snapshot, tap the window to edit or share it. The snapshot will automatically be saved to your album, blah, 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 blah. So you can eat, have quality time. This is so weird. Tap and hold his chest to listen to his heartbeats. You can also tap heartbeat in the interactive mode to do so. You can talk about your mood with him, deepen your bond with him, and experience more interesting interactions. You can recommend outfits to him in your dressing room. Can you guys see like where I'm touching? Can I touch his hand? He lifted it. Recently, I came across a website with Wanderer themed games. There's Wanderer Crush, Flappy Wanderer, and even among wanderers candy crush among us oh my god that's funny what if i hold his face what if i caress his face it's my turn to pet you now let's play fair was that a surprise attack hold to breathe it wants to use my microphone. <gasps> okay. <sighs> what does it do? I just held it and breathed into it, but I don't know what it does. I don't know. I can't figure that out. Seems silly. I feel like this is not a fully fledged out feature yet. And he definitely doesn't say all the voice lines for it yet. Launching a sneak attack again. I like hit his abs. Do I tap his head? I just came back from fighting a wanderer, so maybe I'm still a little exhausted. We got 10 wishes? Oh, we're so. Oh, we have like 15 wishes. We are so going back to wish. Memories span across galaxies. Open to select a four star memory? <gasps> Select your reward first. Oh, who do we want? Okay, but look on each, so they're each four star and it's each a different person, but there's a red, a pink, and a yellow on there. Memories. Okay, so we've got a green one and a yellow one. So the four star one is yellow. So I don't want another yellow and I have a green. So we have yellow and green. So I have yellow. I don't have red or pink. Why don't we go pink? Zane Glittering Lights. All right, we're gonna go Zane. We don't have a Zane card yet. I don't like Raphael so far. All right, so we got a four star. Ooh, did we get that outfit that I liked? Ooh, cool. You've been meeting, we've been meeting each other a lot as of late. Unlocked moment, traffic jam. Okay, so we got a new memory. Zane Glittering Lights. If we upgrade him, we'll just go five for now. I think we just got like a whole bunch of wishes. Hold the phone, look at this. Guaranteed five star within 69 folds. Is that because I only did one fold and it now says 69? Character guarantee within 50 pulls. So this is Rippling Echo and X Space Echo. So is it like this one? 
Oh, that one's on sale. This one's on sale for eight. Eight to get 10 wishes. I feel like we should do that because it's a discount. All right, let's do it. We're gonna make a wish. We're gonna wish 10. Oh, the gotcha player in me loves this. Zane Sweet Burden. Zane Demeanor. Raphael Lame Party. Zane Gaze from Afar. Xavier Reflection. Zane Doctor's Orders. Xavier Bad Idea. Xavier about to hit the ball. I don't get a four star? Osculation. What? Galactic Harmony. Oh, we got a red one for Xavier. That one's pretty cool. New companion unlocked. We got Raphael. Affinity up with Xavier. Oh my god, we can just keep getting a discount of eight so we can do it two more times or should I do one of these so these are the ones we can get yeah let, let's keep going why not we got wishes I'll I don't know if I'll ever play this again so let's wish away what if we get an early five Raphael not angry oh he's angry Trump card, energy drink, troubled. That one's cute. That's cute. I kind of love that. <laughs> cute. Lame party, perfect smile. Auscultation. Checkup. Listen. Ooh, I like his headphones. Okay, but this four star one is pretty cool. I like it. All right, we can do it one more time. I say, why not win in Rome? Win in Rome. Early five? I don't know how to tell. The rain, recall, take care of me. What you doing? Dreams within reach. That one's cute. Ooh, scorching rain. That one looks cool. What you doing? We got two of those. Inspiration search, playing around. Oh, we got two playing arounds. So we got a couple doubles there. And we got the Raphael Scorching Rain, really cool. I still don't know anything about the stats and stuff. They aren't making it a big deal right now. But I'd like to try another battle and see like what that is. All right, Affinity up with Xavier. All right, we've used all of our wishes. So we're close to being able to pull a five star, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we got some stuff here. Lots of new memories here. Wow, tons of new memories. What about the ones that we have like a double of and stuff? Oh, here we go. This is where it like really starts to matter. Like what each person can do. Weapons. And my outfits. Cool. I want a new weapon. We can get like a sword. That's gonna be really cool. I mean, she looks really cool with the guns. I like that too. There's gonna be a lot more versions of them later. Okay, so Zane has a healing support skill, an icy bolt resonance, Horfrost saber, ardent oath, and verglass passive skill. So he's like fire based, and he's like light based. So I think all of our four star ones should be upgraded at least a little bit. All right, we'll do one more and I'll make my verdict on whether I like this game or not. I want to fight again. The Intel Department, Protocore Research Department, VR Training Center, Armory Archives. In a towering 20-story building, various sectors with their own responsibilities exist. It offers a variety of services, all meticulously organized and fully equipped to support every aspect of hunter and work life. Hunter's Watch, HOS 11-4. Training Center has been granted. 
VR training center. After performing a flurry of dazzling maneuvers on my watch, the spherical robot opens a compartment on its body. The system love shows you had less than four hours of sleep last night. Yikes, that's no sleep. Extremely poor. Yikes. A console appears from the compartment and it presents a small pill box. A special delivery. One drum reel. I touched the bags under my eyes, my mind replaying the scene of that eye appearing by the window last night. I thought wanderers had appeared, so I rushed out of my home. Despite scanning the nearby area, I didn't find any abnormal traces of energy fluctuations. I'll try and dig up some info from the squad's files. I'll also be on the lookout tonight. Suddenly, a holographic screen appears and interrupts my thoughts. The adorable voice resounds in the room once Alpha again. Has special life insurance for its members. Please sign <laughs> well, yeah, I hope so, because we're like risking our life every day. Alpha team is on the third floor. The office is next to the Mulberry Bridge. This is so, in case of an emergency, you'll be able to arrive anywhere in Lincoln City within a few seconds. I need to go now. Have a great day. The robot leaves and I'm all alone. I turn around to see an empty office. Sunlight shines through the glass walls, illuminating a pile of untouched paperwork. A new recruit's equipment should be at their desk, and mine is... A newbie. Who's Nero? I hear a voice in the corner. A table appears from the shadows, and behind three rows of old, widescreen monitors is a man with small eyes scrutinizing me. He must be my teammate. Stay. Hello, I'm... Stay right there. Hesitant, I don't move. I inadvertently look at the array of dark colored monitors. It's rare to see such old fashioned products in an era of rapid technological advancement. I guess they're mainly used to avoid small talk. The back of the monitors are plastered with dozens of portraits of wanderers, big and small. Handwritten notes containing all sorts of information are present. Among them is a familiar face. Isn't that a luminivore? The wanderers in the records are all rare. It seems this person is quite knowledgeable. Oh, right, what I saw is out my window last night. I walk up to the monitor and give it a few taps. Excuse me, may I ask a question? Do you think there are wanderers that can turn invisible or just disappear in a split second? It's okay if you don't want to answer. What did you see? As if a switch had been flipped, he suddenly springs up from behind the desk and walks over to me. Well, Shh, it's just... Draw it. His small eyes look surprisingly bigger as they're fixated on me. He shoves a pen into my hand, its tip a flickering red light. A Brimago? You know about them? This has the latest Kennel OS. It's fresh from the oven of our techies. The resolution is three times better than the previous version. Oh, I only use it for work. That's it. Look, here's the TSC security authentication code. What a nerd. I nod and take the pen. I press the switch. Then the tip emits three green streaks of light, which coil around my arm. The memory of what was behind the curtain appears in my mind once more. The moment the pen touches the paper, lines begin to dance across it. In a matter of seconds, that fearsome eye is drawn out. Beautiful. I mean, it looks dangerous. Yeah, maybe both. Recalling what I saw, I manually add a few more details. That's all I can Just remember. Just leave it to me. Hmm. Nero, Jenna. Andrew is looking for you. The door swings open. Captain Jenna walks in. It seems she just returned from a mission. Let me remind you that data analytics is on the fifth floor. If you prefer to hide here for some peace and quiet, you might as well request a transfer. Ooh, she's brutal. Nero doesn't dare to respond. He snatches the pen and paper from my hand and runs away without looking back. Ma'am? Call me Captain like everyone else. Jenna works too. How's the paperwork? If there are any issues, you should speak up now. Everything's going well, it's but the normal squad... for us not to be here. We don't need to sit in HQ all the time if there's no mission. I see. Perhaps sensing my awkwardness, she smiles. Relax. Yes, our job can be dangerous. But before any mission is assigned, Advanced Tech Labs considers the hunter's evil, overall capabilities, and efficacy. Of course, while efficacy can be measured, people are another story. Outside of urgent missions, you're allowed to pick and choose. Don't worry. You won't be forced to resign from Alpha Team on your first day. Understood. Thank you, Captain Jenna. I feel a vibration on my wrist as I lift my arm. The Hunter's Watch shows me the virtual user interface for Perfect. missions. Perfect. Advanced Tech Labs has a job for you. Hear them out first, then go take a look. Yes, Captain. Getting to that place will be tricky. 
I have a 270HM already parked by the Moveri Bridge for you. Oh, like a car? Okay, I'm in a car. Half a month ago, Mr. Raymond, a renowned collector in the city and employer of our client, began to exhibit symptoms of mental confusion and other abnormal behavior. He locked himself in one of his collection rooms after multiple diagnoses. The possibility of mental illness has been ruled out. The southeastern suburbs of Lincoln City are built near the sea and mountains. Many luxurious villas and holiday resorts can be found here. Its prosperity rivals that of the city center. Yet the renowned art collector Mr. Raymond chose to settle down in... This path seems to never end. The steep winding road through the mountains near the western suburbs is lined with trees that could cover the sky. It's like you're in the wilderness. There's nothing to see and you can't really go anywhere. If your car breaks down here, you'd be in a bind. Making a sharp turn, I notice a familiar car parked on the shoulder of the road. A tall figure stands beside it. As I drive past him, he turns around and we lock eyes. I'm startled by who it is. Zane! I slam on the brakes and come to a stop. Then I remove my helmet. You have that look on your face. What is it? Ooh, he's in this cool outfit. He walks to his car and opens the hood. White smoke billows out. Uh-oh, he's having car problems. I was thinking that maybe I should have been a fortune teller instead of a hunter. You should leave it be, just to be safe. The car system has already called for roadside assistance. Unable to do anything else, Zane closes the hood, dusts off his hands, and glances at the motorcycle behind him. Are you me. already tackling a difficult mission when not even two days have passed? It's not that bad. I'm just here to see if the client's home has any wanderers. Raymond? You know him? We're not going to the same place, are we? Someone invited me. So what are you going to do? You don't often see Zane stuck between a rock and a hard place. Stifling a laugh, I clear my throat and get on my motorcycle. I pat the back seat. Come on, let me do my good deed for the day. I'll take you there. Will you be... Can your motorcycle do it? Are you doubting my driving skills or this vehicle's capabilities? No. Oh, yikes. <laughs> good luck climbing the mountain, Dr. Zane. Consider it a workout. I start up the motorcycle and the AR navigation system immediately plans out the route. Advent Navy, since you're 13.5 kilometers away. At that moment, Zane sits behind me. <laughs> He's like, no, not going to walk 13 kilometers. I need to return to the hospital later. Let's not waste any more time. His voice isn't my favorite, though. You're pretty good at going with the flow. Adaptability is a virtue. All right, buckle up and remain seated. Keep your arms and legs at I'm your aware. side. I step on the gas pedal, the speedometer needle jumps. Caught off guard, Zane jerks back. I quickly hit the brakes, but he ends up slamming into Could my back. Could the driver think of her passenger's safety for a moment, please? That's funny. So I'm kind of a bad driver. We arrive at Raymond's mansion and the ornate iron gate slowly opens. We're greeted by a desolate courtyard shrouded in eerie silence. The architectural style of this modern... Uh, is of modern design and simplicity. A large pool surrounds at the water surface, a blanket of blue-green algae. Zane, are you a close friend of the owner? He's a former patient of mine who has a serious congenital heart disease. Mm. That's rough, buddy. Is your girlfriend the moon? What kind of person is he? Is he friendly? Nervous? No. Is it obvious? Zane silently glances at me. A little. This is my first solo mission, after all. Weren't you nervous when you did your first surgery? If I said yes, would that make you feel better? Yeah. A hint of mirth flashes in Zane's eyes. I wasn't. Mirth. What is what is mirth in your eye mean? Mirth. He wasn't nervous. Wow. I want to stomp on his foot, but I'll hold myself back and stomp on his shadow instead. Entering the mansion, my surroundings seem to blur. What captures my attention is the fish tank in the center of the hall. 
There's no water in it. An odd skeleton sits in the center of the tank, and under the light, it appears dull and pale. Fin-like bones protrude from its pelvis. The skeleton lacks legs, its spine extending like a long string. Its pose is ominously beautiful, resembling a girl sitting cross-legged. What I'm looking at looks kind of mermaidy. It's just it's... art. Don't overthink it, Miss Hunter. The butler suddenly appears. He bows before me and Zane. He doesn't question our arrival. He doesn't seem particularly interested in why we're here either. Hugging the fish tank is a spiral staircase that winds all the way to the ceiling. Is he still in his collection room? Everyone knows who he's referring to. Raymond. Yes, on the third floor. Dr. Zane, you've been here before, so please make yourself at home. Zane nods and the butler returns to me. Regarding the wanderer inspection, Miss Hunter, do you need me to accompany you? No, it's okay. I'd like to look around first. Alright, we'll do another one. After the butler and Zane leave, I begin to explore the mansion. While the skeleton is suspicious, neither the hunter's watch nor my evil can detect any metaflux from it. Maybe it's just a quirky decoration. I climb up the stairs. Above me is the collection room on the third floor. Through the door, I can hear two people talking. I've invited you to my home several times before. You only visit when I'm not feeling well. Dr. Zane, I wonder if you see me as a patient or just a subject for observation. According to the OXO remote monitor, your vital sign data has improved. The equipment also determined your age to be far younger than what it actually is. What? Interesting. Aren't you curious about why I haven't died yet? I'll admit I was for a time. However, it was nothing more than that. The silence in the mansion almost amplifies every sound, making the conversation upstairs anything but pleasant. I'm hesitant about climbing up the steps. I'll wait for them to finish talking. I haven't even taken two steps when a bone-chilling laugh resounds, followed by a feeble coughing fit. <coughs> Good lord. Your colleague praised you, saying there are things only the two of you can do. I'm very curious now. Xander Sciences will provide you with the best staff, the best lab, and even the best treatment. Dr. Zane, what you perceive as the limit of your talent is just another beginning in your career. When you reach the finish line, I'll be right there cheering for you. Lost in thought, I lean on the windowsill by the staircase, gazing at the chirping birds outside. The sound of footsteps brings me back to reality. I turn around to see Zane going down the stairs. He doesn't look away. On the handrail, his hand has countless faint scars. I'm looking for scars on his hand. I don't Listening see Listening in? Not really. It seems like someone is trying to headhunt you. You're good at not giving in to temptation. Please don't put me on a pedestal. I'm just a normal doctor. I have no intention of straying from the path I've chosen. Eavesdropping isn't exactly polite, especially when Zane's personal matters are involved. I steer the conversation in a different direction. A normal doctor who won the Star Catcher Award and is the youngest person to receive the Lind Award? I promise I'll never be late to your appointments in the future. I make a gesture to show I'm swearing on my honor as a joke. Zane reaches out to put my hand back at my side, but then an almost imperceptible ripple appears in the air, like someone plucked a cord. What? It's a Metaflux. Mm -hmm. The resonance trail leads straight to the collection room. I run out the last few steps and the hunter's watch confirms my suspicions. Metaflux is gathering at an alarming speed behind the heavy door. The current situation forces me to kick down the door. Raymond is sprawled out on the carpet, unconscious. The lights flicker as I sense an invisible pressure weighing down on me. The Wanderer is on the move. Zane, get him out of here. I'll handle this. How long this. will you be able to last? Whoosh! An icicle flies toward the Wanderer. 
that appeared. In the blink of an eye, Zane is standing next to me. Let's make this quick, shall we? <gasps> we get to fight together. Please tell me it's a fight. Yes, with Zane. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so we can't change anything. This is the battle. Oh, we're going back to landscape mode. Okay. Complete the mission with your companion. It could appear at any moment. Be careful. Don't let your guard down either. All right, move. Let me move. Dodging right before an attack will trigger a perfect dodge. After the cooldown ends, you can summon your companion and use his, su his support skill. Okay, so we're going to use his support skill. Triggering a perfect dodge can empower the support skill. When it glows, tap to use the skill. Have you recovered? I'll freeze it for you. Here comes another attack. It's a tough one. Oh, I thought I'd timed that one perfectly. Oh shoot, I got hurt. It's not over yet. I won't let my guard down. Oh, I did get hit myself. Impressive. Yeah. As expected of a hunter. I'm flattered. Culprit finally revealed itself. There it is. Whoa. That could have been cooler. Are you satisfied? I'll wrap it up from here. Thanks, Dr. Zane. I kind of like the fighting, it's kind of fun. Okay, we're back to being vertical. Male, 39 years old. He collapsed from shock because a wanderer appeared five minutes ago. No external injuries. His heart rate is normal and his pupils react normally to light. The address is... After contacting a rescue helicopter, Zane sends the butler to move Raymond to another room. The hunter's watch scans every... The hunter's watch scans every corner of the collection room, sending data back to HQ. Intelligentia type estimated threat level to be at least B had yet to form a protocol. There are no casualties or any metaflux over and out. A notification appears telling me the mission is now considered complete, but I can't shake off this lingering feeling of unease. While the wanderer has been dealt with, something's still off about the room. Huh? That's a stunning oil painting hangs on the wall opposite the sofa. It depicts a brilliantly blue sea with cascading white waves. Each brushstroke feels alive, as if countless fairies are jumping out of the water. Has something to do with Raphael? Hmm? At the edge of the sea, the water is gradually stained crimson, like something is being torn apart, swallowed, and coalescing into a blood clot. What a peculiar painting. I try to scan it, but there's nothing. I place my hand on the frame and try to resonate with it. The gloomy weather, the sound of the ocean, a salty humidity slowly creeps into my hair. This is... I come back to my senses and realize I'm standing in the ocean. We've got music. I turn around and spot a girl by the shore, the lower half of her body submerged in the water. Strange. It's almost like she's crying and laughing at the same time. The swirling fog carries a faint ethereal melody on the sea breeze. It sounds like a song. It is also a lament. I can't help but move toward her, but the fog becomes increasingly dense and everything begins to blur. A chilling cold gradually surrounds me.
I blinked a few times. I'm back in Raymond's collection Did room. Did something catch your eye? You were in a daze. Zane frowns, holding a cup that's been completely frozen. Speechless, I touch my neck. Seriously, you've been smacking it against my neck? The teacup didn't work, so I had no choice but to increase the dosage. What happened? I shake my head and look at the painting again. A metaflex-infused painting causing hallucinations. Could this be why Raymond was acting strange? Was it also that wanderer's hiding place? The rescue helicopter arrives and takes in the unconscious Raymond. Zane insists on accompanying him to the hospital. Take care. Try not to forget the time of your next checkup. I know. Don't forget about your car. Make sure it gets repaired. Thank you. Watching the helicopter disappear into the clouds, I let out a sigh of relief. I turn on my comms again and look at the mansion. Coordinates are my current location. There's an oil painting that needs special treatment. New content unlocked. Let's see. Falling for you. Zane. A frozen promise. Let's go. See what this is all about. It happened six months ago when Zane just became my primary care doctor. After another day of studying for the hunter's exam, I realized I hadn't eaten yet. By the time I dragged my weary self to the restaurant, it was already packed. I promise you, this restaurant is that. really good. You always say that. Because it's true. That will be all. Thank you. He does have a scar on his hand a little bit. Starving, and I forgot my lunch again. Sorry, we're full up right now. Would you mind waiting? You're out of tables. Do you want to go watch oh, a movie so... after lunch? <laughs> sure, as you wish. There's this new sci-fi movie. That's huh? Out, I think. The same? Let me check. You know each other? Maybe you can share a table. Um, that might not be. Please. Oh, all Forget right. It. Okay. Um, I'll give you some time to decide then. Yes, please. Awkward. I'll have the lunch special, please. Really quiet. Zane hasn't said a word since I sat down. Mm -hmm. He's pretty cute, but awkward. Earlier, I thought I saw you making a little snow cap. <laughs> it was so cute. No, you are mistaken. We are not mistaken, actually. <sighs> what a liar. I was pleasantly surprised when I found out you were the new attending physician. Were you, though? <sighs> the weather's really nice today. <sighs> <sighs> it's only getting more awkward. He is very awkward. Hey, Dr. Zane. Did you know that our mouths can be used for something other than eating? We can use them to smile, sing, talk, and tell jokes. Like a lesser known fact or lame joke. <laughs> well, I tried my best. Here, please enjoy your meal. Mmm, that 
does look yummy. I think I'll just eat. No small talk here. Taro ice cream for dessert. Enjoy. Yum. He yes, didn't say please. anything. It's just like back then. Zane hardly ever spoke to me. Hmm. What is it? It's nothing. I was just thinking. Okay, picky eater, reminisce, kind of far. So I can pick. Let's reminisce. This place. It used to be a pet store. Not a restaurant, right? I remember seeing you around here a few times. I must have taken a wrong turn when going to the bookstore nearby. A uh, wrong turn? How's your family been? Is your grandma doing okay? <laughs> yes, grandma's doing fine. As soon as she found out that you were my doctor, she said she could rest easy, knowing I was in good hands. <laughs> Ice cream's melting. Do you remember when we went to the aquarium together? To see the seals? Hmm? I was so mad when that seal threw ice at me. And then you sent over a bunch of snowballs the very next day, just to mock me. To mock you? You left them in a box in front of my door. Looked exactly like this ice cream. All meticulously arranged, too. Those snowballs, do you still have them? You used your evolve to make them, right? The snowballs didn't melt. You totally did that on purpose. I had planned on throwing them at you, but who knew we wouldn't see each other again? Have a nice <sighs> day. I always passed by this street on my way home. It's amazing how much it changed. Still reminiscing? Well, if I didn't run into you again, I would have never realized how time flies. Everything changes. Except for those three snowballs. Just forget they even exist. You can pretend I never gave them to you. What? Why? So, you're not gonna tease me anymore? <laughs> Or maybe I was never teasing you in the first place. Because you're awkward? Oh, that's... Please, try not to mistake it for some snowballs this time. A seal? Then, could those snowballs also be I have work this afternoon so I'll be leaving now the restaurant was great I plan to eat here again let's eat out when we have time before this place changes that is mm. okay. if you promise not to disappear again <laughs> see you later at the hospital or wherever <laughs> Zane, it's good to see you again. Cute. So we've got a history. We've got history. <gasps> there are different routes that can be taken. So they haven't split off yet. Interesting. More stuff to read. Oh my god, they're so long. Eight pages. No, thank you. As much as I'd love to read about you, that's a lot. That is so long. I literally have zero desire to read all that. What's the matter? What is happening here? Oh, it's you. You look like you're in a hurry. What happened? A wanderer? Like, what's the point in this? It said, you can have it playing so you can do other things, but he's the only one with a voice acted part. Not me. Like, they don't have my voice saying Not really. It. I just happen to be resting here. 
Okay, it yeah, truly I don't is like this. I don't feel Out of a billion like wanderers, it. maybe only one can become intelligent. It's like a six minute story. But with billions of possibilities, like try and rescue others. Whether they're people or flowers. Okay, so I fast forwarded through it because it seems kind of stupid. Yeah, I don't like these. These are kind of stupid. It's like. Oh. It's, it's a lot of reading and it's it very wasn't fast the reading. I kind of hate this feature. You should head upstairs now. Why are you sitting in the waiting area at this hour? Shouldn't you have gone home? You're also still at the hospital. Okay, so we're asking each other out. I'm asking them out to eat. Yeah, this is a little, uh... This is a lot. This game is a lot. Okay, look, we've been playing for a while. I don't even know how long. Two and a half hours? Oh my god, that's really long. So what do I think? What do I think of this game? I feel like... Like, there were moments where I was like, oh my god, I think I'm gonna fall asleep. Like, I don't like games that, like, in order to get the picture and enjoy it, you kind of have to read. And I feel like I'm missing so much of the lore because I, I genuinely don't want to read this stuff. There's just so much to read. Like, in here, like, we've got all these messages, guidance message life tale characters and like i and life at lincoln and all of these places like do they really even matter like i feel zero connection i don't know i feel zero connection to the characters and maybe reading all of the stuff will like i don't know make me feel better and like understand the story a little better but right now it's just like I'm interested to see where it goes, like, with the guys and what our relationship is going to be like. I actually kind of really like the combat system. Like, fighting was really fun. I truly, in all of the ads, never once saw combat. So the fact that there was combat was really cool. I do hate that it went from vertical to horizontal. I think they probably just should have stuck with one. Because for anybody who would want to stream, like, that's kind of sucky. So the fighting is fun and I kind of wish there was more of it. And, like, that that became more of, like, a challenge in the game. Because I feel like people these days want something fresh. And that is very refreshing that there is actually, like, a fun, <laughs> a fun element in the game. So the fighting could actually be really cool. Especially, like, experimenting with your different memories that you get. As much as I am a fellow, like, simp for a good husbando these games are so boring to me mobile games really have to grip me and this one is not gripping me at all i want to be simping and thirsting for these guys and they're cute but like it moves so unbelievably slow they throw in so many extra mechanics that you have to think about and it's like so many currencies so many mechanics and instead of it being fun with things to do, it becomes kind of overwhelming. So my overall take is that if you are an avid Otome game player and you love mobile games, this could be for you. So I think it's fair to say, love and deep space, not for me. You know, if the app store was like, hey, rate this game, I'd probably give it a three. It definitely was a little bit buggy and I'm using a very like nice iPad, like the iPad Pro, it's not a cell phone. And I don't have much on it, so like, it's not like a memory issue or a speed issue. I've never had an issue running any any games on this iPad. The marketing targeting me, I think y'all were wrong. Not all targeted marketing works. That's right, you don't have to fall for everything, guys. I'm gonna go uh, make dinner for my real life husbando. <laughs> all right, guys, this has been Love in Deep Space, the first two and a half hours. Bye!